guys. How's it going? Oh, it's Medwick. Getting some sand. That's the goal of today, pretty much. Just sand, just sand, boys, just sand. Two reasons for that. Endlantis and Guardian Farm. We need a ton of it again. So we're probably going to fly somewhere and just annihilate a biome. I've got shulkers to do it. I've got the shulkers. I feel like I can get it done, like, fast as well. Like, I know what I'm doing in terms of placing the sand and stuff. I can take these. Yep. I'm going to break them. Fuck it. I swapped out a lot of the stuff. The kelp. I filled these all up with kelp now. Uh, oh, these are kelp. These are kelp. All right. Let's get these empties real quick. Okay. Um, bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Can I reach? No, I can't. We'll put these in here for now. We good? All right. We have oh, all these shulkers greedy, greedy that we're going to fill with sand now. We're going to find a spot and just dig. Just go ham. All right. Have I not been this far up? In this specific direction. This looks new. There's still wheat there. I haven't been here. I would have stolen this wheat. Ooh, we almost crashed. You are absolutely kidding me. You are absolute. You are shitting me. There was a coral reef. Here. This whole time. Oh, south of my house. Oh, I because I am watching archives. I just wanted to say big pog. Oh, oh, that's 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 a deep cut, dude. That's deep. That's a real deep cut. How the fuck did I not catch this? I definitely haven't been south of my house. <laughs> Another village. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Shh, 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 shh. shh. Fuck is this? Fuck is this? Hold on, shh. Oh, no, dude. The wheat's still here. I definitely haven't been here. What the fuck is this? Farlands looking shit. What? There's no way. There's just no fucking way. What the fuck? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did I whiff on this? Did I whiff? Because like, I must have came this way, right? Oh, come on, dude. There's wheat here as well. How have I not been here? How the fuck have I not been here? I really just must have... No, I remember this. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I don't remember this. Never mind. All right, this is, this is big dumb. I feel big dumb. I feel big dumb. I am positive I went south, but I guess not south enough. Maybe not with the elytra. That'll be it. That'll be it. I came south by boat. I came south by boat, and I didn't go that far. This is my first time going this far south by by air. I cannot believe we whiffed on that, though. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Come on. <laughs> Remember that time we spent, like, a full stream looking for a coral reef? And there's one right on our doorstep, dude. Oh. <laughs> We spent an entire stream looking for a coral reef. It's here. Yeah, it's like 200 blocks away from my house. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, God. God. Stupid. This is a certified bro moment. You're right. I got pranked, man. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the archives or something. I'm going to have to watch it back. Cause I'm, I'm positive I went south, but I guess just not far enough. Not far enough south. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I saw this, I was like, I would have spotted that. Look, this is how far away we are. Look. There's my house. I, mem I remember. I'm getting flashbacks, dude. I went this way. I boated around. I boated around, but I didn't go too far. I missed this. Yeah, we really just didn't go south. I cannot believe that shit. Right here. On our doorstep, dude. Oh. If there's... If there's busted shit in here, I'm going to flip my lid. I'm just going to hold on to them. Fine. I'm taking everything just so I have it. Oops. 
I cannot believe that shit, man. We still have one more to check. I don't know why I'm taking the gunpowder of all things. I have a, a creeper farm, but I just, I just want it. I just want it, dude. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Wait, one more. One more. If this, I'm gonna flip, dude. I'm gonna flip. If there's an enchanted apple in, in that last pyramid that we didn't see, I'm gonna flip. <laughs> Uh, I kind of want to adventure a bit more now, though. I've got the itch. If I've not been around here, there's definitely more shit I haven't seen, right? I didn't come this far south. There's some f***ing cool generation, though. Look at this. That's another ship. Another coral reef. Another coral reef, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've only found two. You're fucking kidding me. Piss off. Holy shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm not 2,000 blocks away. I'm just 2,000 blocks away from spawn chunks. The other one's like 20,000. <laughs> what? I can't. I can't. I fucking can't. Today, I can't. What is this, dude? Love you, Dad. Three. I can't handle this. This is fucking nuts. Piss off. This world gets better and better every time I play it. This is nuts. What the fuck? We're 2,000 blocks away from home. This is nothing, dude. This is so fucking close. Ocean. Ocean field shore. It spreads. It's, it's, it's a chunk of it just sat there, dude. What? Oh, that's a, that's a lot of mobs. They don't have anywhere else to spawn. They can't spawn here. <laughs> They're just concentrated, dude. Oh, f dude, what the f man? Let me screenshot this. Two thousand blocks away. It is so close to our house. Phil, this world just gets better and better. Baby zombie, hold my enchanted golden armor and going full diamond. I just realized. I just realized. I just had a fucking epiphany. Um, give me a sec. We're just gonna quickly see if there's anything else over here. I just wanted. Scan the perimeter of this mushroom biome. <laughs> okay, nothing. Oh, well, yep. All right. <laughs> 3,500 blocks away from spawn. Cool. We have one north of us as well, I think. Holy shit, that's fucking sick. Whoa. What the f Right there, Phil. Didn't catch it. Oh, you are shitting me. What the f South was the way to go, dude. We're five k blocks away from spawn, and there's a mushroom biome and an That's ice so spikes cool biome. Holy, f it's huge. Whoa, okay. <laughs> how didn't I go south? How how the f didn't I go south, dude? Dude, what the? F oh, is that an igloo? That's a fucking igloo. Is this? I think this might be one of the first. The first snow villages I've found, if not... Yeah, it, I think this is the first... It must be, right? It's pretty. The more I think about it, the more I think we must have came south at some point and we've... Because we were looking for a stronghold, remember? I found all the three strongholds that were nearby. There's more, right? There's more if you go further out, but there's three that are close to spawn. I can't shake the feeling that this is a spot that we've been to and I've just completely forgotten, but like... I can't... My elytra is f***ing scuffed. I wonder if there's an ocean monument nearby, just like in season two. Probably not. This screams underwater stronghold. This thing right here. I'm get. I'm getting f***ing legit chills. <laughs> That's pretty close. All right, I took a screenshot. That's pretty f 
close. And there's really fallouts here as well. That's that's a really good spot. That is a really good spot. I can yeet that and that, and then it's just got ocean for days. Oh, there's a ship right next to it too. Oh, this might be the farm location. It's either going to be the farm location or a different project entirely. Because the farm I want to make is just a big cube. But I don't want to yeet the ship next to it. So that might be a slightly different project. Is that an ice? What's that? It's sand. <laughs> the ocean color made it look different. So there's another ocean monument, I believe, this way. Hey, cute. I love these things. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's a big one as well. Holy shit. Yo, it fucking goes. Oh, and there's a rooftop forest next to it as well. I'm getting so easily distracted. Fuck me, fuck me dude. Ridiculous. <laughs> Sand was the, the idea. Sand was the plan today. But your boy has gotten a sniff of that detour life. We found some cool shit. And I want to find out if there's a stronghold close enough to it. This looks like chaos caverns. This, this bit here. Before I demolished it. The similarities between this world and season two are fucking weird, dude. They're really weird. There was an ocean monument north of Chaos Caverns as well. And this looks exactly, well, not exactly, but looks like a miniature version of Chaos Caverns' as, uh, terrain before I started fucking with it. That's legit a sign. I'm probably going to do Chaos Caverns too there now. <laughs> that, that's, that's two on the nose. That's way too on the fucking nose. It's exactly the same fucking terrain. Yeah, look. I'll show you. There you go. See if I can get there really quick, unless I'm already there. No. Chaos Caverns was super fucking close to the first ocean monument I ever found. Super fucking close. Here's Chaos Caverns. All right. So Chaos Caverns. Look how fucking similar that terrain was. It's just a miniature version. And then just behind it, further up, ocean monument. Like, that's really on the nose. You see what I mean? Like, that's super close. <laughs> I'm going to go look at it again. Whoa, dude. Look at it. Same mountain, everything. Right here. Yeah. Then monument. It's just up here, I think, right? Facing a different way. But it's, and it's a lot closer. It's, it's a miniature version of season two. Small chaos caverns, you're right. Mini version. Literal, miniature kind of same terrain. Super weird. I've gone all directions now. Unless we're talking about diagonals. In which case, I have no fucking clue. Hey, man. Don't go down there. You'll die. That's my creeper farm. All right. So, do you guys want to hear what happened yesterday? So, for those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, um, me and Kristen, she's called Miss Trixon in the chat, we're in the process of getting a visa to get married. Uh, yeah, I was posting stuff to Instagram, so a few of you already know what kind of happened. But I'm going to get to details that you don't know about in a sec. Traveling to London. Um, we're doing the last part of the whole process now. Process being getting a visa to officially get married to Kristen in the US. It's a right f*** on. We're like nine months in so far. Maybe ten. I'm getting this sorted out. And we're at the final stage. I've been for the medical. That's already happened. I went down to London and had a medical from their specific people that they want to get you the medical from. Did all that. The medical information got passed on to the u.s embassy which is where i went so they have that everything checked out because i would have gotten the call if something came up so everything checked out my healthy boy good to go right so i get on the train and it's like half past six in the morning when the train leaves all right early train i got there pretty early um so i hop on everything's going as normal i realized i forgot my headphones so that was a bit of a fucking carry on i was just like oh, i guess i'll nap because <laughs> i had like four hours sleep anyway so i guess i'll nap um so I have a bit of a nap on the train and then we're pulling into the station and before we get to it, we just kind of stop like awkwardly on a fucking crossroads. So like there was a truck that was waiting to get past us and I was just looking at it. I was like, I, I don't know what's going on, dude. We just fucking stopped. And the, uh, the announcer, the, dri the driver gets on the um, announcement thing and goes, hi. So um, there's, bit, there's been uh, a, a slight delay and we'll, we'll let you know more about, if, about it when we pull into the station. I was like, all right. What's, what's the slight delay? <laughs> Will the sup was driving it. <laughs> right, let's not be real. I was just about to start talking about his latest video. Um, anyway, we pull, we we start pulling away to go into the station. 
He now gets on again. And he's like, hi, so uh, apologies for the delay. Uh, we've now been told that there's going to be uh, a, a bigger delay due to a, a major police incident in Gruntham. Uh, the delay is going to be roughly 90 minutes. And everybody on the train was like, what? And I set up my train to be um, like, I'll, I'll be like two hours early. Oh, thank you, man. Um, I set, I set up my travel to be two hours early. Bear in mind, my appointment, my interview time at the US Embassy uh, was going to be at 11.30. Okay. I would have arrived at King's Cross at 9.37. So plenty of time. It takes about like 40 minutes to an hour, uh, depending on traffic, to get from King's Cross to the Embassy. It's like on the other side of the river and everything. Okay. So we hear that and I'm like, oh, f well, at least I can, I can still get there. I can still get there. It's fine. I can still get there. So we're sat on the train and we're just kind of awkwardly stopped at the train station whilst they figure shit out. Right. And then all of a sudden he gets on after like 10 more minutes, he gets on again. He says, yeah, so, um, a lot more professional than this, obviously. Yeah. So the, we, we, we actually are having to cancel this train entirely. Now the Doncaster line has been fully shut. The Doncaster, basically the LNER service goes along the east coast almost of England and it's fast as f right it misses a bunch of stations to get there real quick so they were closing the line from Doncaster to King's Cross just full on the whole fucking thing gone every train going along that line you're done change go on to a different train so everybody fucking goes oh fucking yikes everyone grabs their shit I grab my shit we just jump off the train and I'm listening everyone's listening to what's going to be said on the announcement um at the train station and it say they say something like people who are traveling on the LNER service to London King's Cross um you will be able to use your ticket we are honoring it for the um Grand Central train that is going to be arriving at platform four so we all just book it right we're just like can run in everyone's just like a mass mob getting to platform four because we know that train is going to be full and we're getting on it on top of that right so we all book it we get there we're standing at the platform. Literally seconds after we arrive, the train pulls in and I, I hop straight fucking on. And then everyone, the announcement says, uh, apologies for the delay. People that are getting onto the train right now are from the LNER service. We're going to be ordering their tickets. If you have a spare seat, please allow them to sit down. If not, then you, you just have to stand. And I'm like, I, I'll stand. Fuck it. I'll stand. We get on. The guy from the other train jumps on with us. I'm stood right next to him and he's just about to get on the phone and start telling people like, cause it's like a phone announcement, right? He's just about to get on and start talking to people. That's like, I was like, excuse me, I'm on the right train, right? This one's going to London's King's Cross. He's like, yes, yes, yes. And I was like, okay, how, how long is it going to take? When are we going to get in? And he's like, roughly, it's prob we're probably going to get in at 11.15. My interview was 11.30. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm going to have to reschedule. Okay, so like, and I was like, is this is this actually the fastest though? And he was like, pretty much, if you get on the one that goes that goes to Sheffield, you'll probably get there about the same time. And I was like, okay, I'll stay on this. I'll stay on this one. Okay. So I'm panicking at this point, right? I'm thinking, shit, they're gonna fucking cancel my my thing. It's like 200 pounds. I've spent about 200 pounds on the train and also like 200 pounds on the on the interview, right? They're gonna fucking cancel it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to stay the night. I'm gonna spend more money. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to reschedule. Cost another 200 quid. And then I'm also gonna have to spend the night in London to make sure I get there. So I was like stressing out right so the train pulls away and i'm thinking shit i was like texting chris and she was panicking as well she's thinking oh, fuck, what we're we gonna do i was like I'm, I'm just gonna have to stay the night if i can't get there on time I'll, and i called them up i ended up calling up the uh the embassy and then uh i got through to somebody apparent you'll find out later apparently this person doesn't wasn't working there um <laughs> get through to somebody <laughs> that was the phone number for the embassy right get through to the the uh the control the what you call it not the control the operator Got through the operator. I tell her my situation. I tell her I'm just completely like up shit creek without a paddle. They've cancelled the whole line due to a major police incident. The whole fucking line. So everybody is late. There's one guy next to me who was going to Paris. He had to can cancel everything, dude. He was getting a connection to Paris. He was on the phone when he said the night you made a delay. He said, can I rearrange for another one a little bit later? And then when they got on the, on the fucking announcement that said they're cancelling the entire train and the line, he, he had to eat his entire plans, dude. He was going to King's Cross. He's probably going to have to stay the night. And then go to Paris the next day. Oh, f he seemed pretty chill about it. Anyway, so I ring up and I ask them if they can reorganize. I'm like, okay, we can reschedule you for twelve thirty at the latest. Like, okay, okay. She's like, can you can you get here any earlier? I was like, no. They, they, they literally have said eleven fifteen estimate. Okay. She's like, okay, I'll put you down for twelve thirty. If you can't make it, give us a call. 
and you can reschedule for another day. It's like, shit, I don't want to reschedule for another day. This is going to be cutting it f***ing close. So we get, we, we, I stand on the train for two and a half hours practically, right? I'm literally stood. I sit down for a little bit, but I'm in the ho I'm in the entranceway. You know, when you get on the train, you have the f***ing doors and then you can go to a carriage left or right. I'm stood in that spot on literally right up against the door with a bunch of other people, with like six other people, because the train was fucking packed. So I'm stood there for like two and a half hours standing, just over my life, no headphones, no music, just listen to this squeaky thing that connects the two coaches together, just constantly. The, ah, we pull into King's Cross, 11.15, on the dot almost. It was like 11.13 when we pulled in, 11.15 when I got off. I bail, backpack goes on, fucking run. I'm out, I get to a place with good signal. I book an Uber. It takes way too long to get to me. I'm panicking. It takes about like seven minutes. And I was like, uh oh, shit in the bed. I get in. I tell them where I'm going. And I got in, I think about 20 past, it was like 25 past 11 when I got in. I got like sat in the car and he's he tells me, um, oh, you're going to the US Embassy? I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, um, the roads are closed and they've closed uh, a bridge. I was like, fucking what? Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be about an hour to get there. Okay, what? Okay. And I told him, I was like, my appointment is at 1230. And he was like, okay, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. So I'm just shitting, shitting myself the entire fucking trip in this Uber. Barely talking to this guy because I'm stressing out. I don't want to distract him. I want him to just do his job. I want him to be on the ball and get me there as fast as he can without breaking any laws. All right. We take a roundabout route to avoid a bunch of traffic that had been built up from these closed from these closed roads and bridges, right? I kept looking at the Uber map and he kept changing where we were going to avoid all these congestion sections. He gets me there, okay? He gets me there quicker than I thought. He gets me there at uh, 12, 13 or 14, something like that. It was, no, it was 12, 10. It's 12, 10. He wishes me good luck because we still had a little back and forth. I was like telling him why I'm going there and stuff. I, I didn't want to be talking to him constantly. I wanted to just, I wanted him to just concentrate on what he's doing. We get there and I'm, I'm early, right? On the email, uh, that told me what I need to bring. It also said, please allow 15 minutes before your appointment, before your interview, for airport style screening. So I knew I had time. Just, I run. I get there. There's a building outside of the main building of the US Embassy, right? Before you can get to the US Embassy, you have to go through this little small building that has airport style security shit in it. Literally, the, the full works. The, the machine that scans the bags, the beeper that you walk through everything all right outside of that building there are two police officers from the uk with fucking smgs so i walk up i'm running they're already alarm bells are already running in their heads so like this guy's running at the embassy with a backpack so they're already like on edge i run up i knock on the door guy opens it up and i'm saying i'm, I'm, I'm here for the uh, the interview i'm like I i'll tell him the specific location on this thing i can't remember exactly what it's called um a specific section of that building right i run up to it he's like oh, okay what was your appointment time i was like uh 12 30 at this point it's like just about quarter past it's like it's it's like 13 minutes past 12 12 30 is my appointment 15 minutes of airport security right and he goes oh um no you're late i was like no i'm on time i've got 15 minutes right and he's like no you're late you're gonna have to reschedule me i was like no 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 i rang up i rang I rang and they, they, re they rescheduled. I rang, it was 11.30 initially. They said I could come here for 12.30. I have 15 minutes. I'm 15 minutes before. I'm 17 minutes before the, the time. I can, I, can still do, I, can, I can still come in, right? And he's like, I don't know, mate. I don't know. It's, it's, you, you, you have to go around. I was like, no, I rang. I rang. I rang. They said. He's like, who did you speak to? I was like, I don't know. And he's like, hold on two seconds. Whilst this is happening, a woman next to me tried to go through the door while somebody was coming out. And f dude, the guys with the guns were on her. <laughs> they were just like they they pushed past me and just went whoa 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 whoa, whoa just grabbed it i was like <laughs> so i had like a gun in my face like right here i was like <laughs> and this guy's like speak and i'm just like Shh, i'm still dude i was like ah, and i put my hands up straight away i was like oh, whoa, whoa. like that gun was like here just right next to my head and he seemed pretty chill he just had his hand on it ready to go i was like <laughs> And she was just, she was just dumb, right? She tried to get in while somebody was coming out. Didn't realize that you have to speak to somebody. Anyway, that gets diffused. I'm shit in the bed still. I'm just like, oh my God, I'm going to have to fucking, and I'm, I'm lo I look depressed. I look visibly depressed and upset that I'm going to miss my appointment. I am absolutely distraught. I'm going to miss the appointment. I'm going to have to stay the fucking night. There's more money to spend. I'm, I just don't know what the fucking do. Will it be able to re reschedule for next day? Who knows? Would I have to stay five days? Who fucking knows? So 
I see him go and talk to the lady behind one of the desks. Stands there for a little bit. He comes back to me and he says, okay, who did you speak to again? I was like, I didn't speak to anybody. And she can hear, right? And she's like ringing to try and find out who I spoke to. And I was like, listen, I've, I've, I've traveled all the way from Newcastle. I've, I rang up. There was a delay. There was, they literally closed down the train. They closed down the main Doncaster line going to London King's Cross because of this major police incident. Turns out, by the way, some, I'll tell you what the major police incident was in a second. It's pretty dark. Anyway, I say, I tell them all that and they're like, okay, okay, let me just... So he goes back, he speaks to her again. And I'm just, at this point, I'm just like, you don't look at me in. I was looking at my phone. I was like, they're not going to let me in. 15 minutes. It's, 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 it's like nearly 10 minutes before my appointment. They're not going to let me in. He comes back and he says, all right, come on. I was like, F oh, thank you. <laughs> he's like, was, he's like, so what happened again? I was explaining to him. I was like, I, that's what I was doing the whole thing. He's like, yep, take your belt off. I was like, yep, off. belt off. Yep. Phone, electronics, all that stuff. And he's like, well, knock your phone. He unlocks my phone, put it in the thing, did the whole airport security thing. And whilst this was all going on, I'm telling him like what happened. I was like, oh my God, dude, this has been such a nightmare. I can't believe, I, I, I can't believe I got here just in time to begin with. Thank you so much for letting me through, dude. And like, just I was so relieved. And um, I was telling him all the specifics pretty much. I was like, yeah, we, we jumped onto the the, the uh, central line. The, 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 what's it called? Gold Central? I forget now. Grand Central. We jumped on the Grand Central line. I was stood for two hour, two and a half hours in the f and with no seats, just just trying my best to get here on time. The Uber barely got got here just in time. We got lucky with the traffic lights. Huge pog. <laughs> I didn't see that in real life, obviously. <laughs> and this whole thing's going on. The guy's like, "Oh, can you? You've got some keys in the bottom of your bag. Got them out. Check them. Can you drink your water that you've got on you? Yep, yeah, I just drank some of the water to make sure it wasn't poisoned. The bomb, bomb juice. Whatever. <laughs> so all that happens. We're, we're doing the whole basic shit, right? And I and, and I I say my thanks. I grab my DS-160 to jam it in my pack of multiple forms and info, passport shit, right? I run. I run. I'm running up with my backpack again. I get to the main desk. The last that's behind the desk is super chill. Really helpful. Tell me where to go. Stamp my DS-160 with a ticket and a time and everything and all that stuff. I go up one level in the lift. This, this building's huge, by the way. I go one level in the lift. I walk through. And I'm expecting um, like an, a face-to-face interview right i'm thinking I'm, I'm expecting a face-to-face -face interview where i sit down at a desk and just go through all the shit i've got and they're gonna ask me like a billion questions about Kristen and her family and how we met and everything the whole the whole time scale right the whole thing i was expecting that i was in and out in 15 minutes like bruh it was nuts it was nuts i was like, bruh, I sat, I sat down, right? Everything was white and there was a bunch of different booths that went up to like 30 something in number, right? And then have you ever been to Argos, guys? Have you ever been to a place that has like a, this thing, actually, well, McDonald's. They have screens up, right? That show you the order number that you have. Yeah, they had screens like that too. And my order number was not on there yet. I was waiting. <laughs> I was waiting patiently and they called me up and I just, I just went to one of these little booths just standing up. It was just a glass glass thing with you know how like with the, with the speakers where they can just talk to you through the glass it's one of those like at the post office I, just, I walked up i spoke to one dude handed my shit over he asked for all the specific things so i hand over him all my shit he, he asks for everything i give him my police report i give him my ds160 i give him my passport i have extra stuff that i didn't have to give over by the way i had tons of shit i give him all that i give him the affidavit which is basically Kristen's info and her like wage yes they, they ask for what you do for a job and i put down twitch and youtube and put all my links in there just everything dude anyway hand all of all that stuff and then he goes okay you can take a seat and i was like all right I'll take a seat that was like five minutes of my time by the way then i get up again and speak to a lady at a different booth again the same thing just glass and just a white box I just walk in and just on the other side of the glass just somebody talking all right. And then she asked me like six questions and I'm done. That's it. Okay. We'll be in. Well, good luck. We'll be in touch. What? I was expecting like an hour. They say on the website and in the email, expect an hour and a half for the interview. At least. Dude. She asked for, my pol she asked for the, the police report again as well. I think bro, the police incident, the major police incident. In a second, it's dark. You're not, it's not a happy way to end the story, so I'm leaving it till way later. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Anyway, she literally just says, okay, how do you guys meet? Uh, what, what, what do you do for a living? What does she do for a living? Where does she live? Uh, what else did she ask? So how much, how many was that? Let's see. Um, 
how do you guys meet she asked me what twitch was that was kind of part of the same question like how do we meet um where does she live what does she do what do i do and when do i plan on getting married that was it six six questions pretty much um and yeah that was it that was all the questions she asked i was, I was expecting to ask when Kristen was born where her parents were born what do her parents do full on time frame of everything we've ever done together i was ready dude i was ready with everything and it was done like six oh f right let's get the let's get the i've got a funny way to end the story let's get the um let's let's quickly get this out of the way with hold on the, so the major police incident that caused the um the train delays i didn't find out until like i was in the uber i looked it up on my phone yeah somebody died on on the tracks it was it was but they didn't want to tell anyone because it panics people right everyone gets panicky when they know that that happened so sucks for that person and their family they, they don't know who they were still busy i trying to identify who the person was to inform the family it's terrible it's horrible but that's the reason why so everybody was like big pissed off but when i found out that was the reason i was like that sucks that's fucking horrible they didn't want to announce it though they definitely knew they didn't want to tell people at the time um yeah i thought it was a bit excessive closing down the entire line though in hell i guess that was like one of the main it must have been like right on the fucking main connection point or something and there was no way to go around it it was it sucks but that was why that was why everyone was late it's because they had to shut down the entire fucking line back to the, the back to the funnies back to the funnies guys one of the questions that she asked she asked what i did and i told her twitch and stuff like that right the woman asks me how we met and i say oh a live streaming website and she instantly fucking did this I was like, oh, f she thinks she thinks it's one of those. She thinks it's one of those websites. Oh, f so I quickly said, it's 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 like a like a, a gaming thing. She's like, so wait, what what do they stream on this website? I was like, gaming. You stream you you stream gaming stuff. And she, I was I was streaming, and she joins, and we became friends. And I went down the whole thing, right? She got, she clearly didn't ask for this, but I went through the whole timeline. I was like, okay, she she joined in like 2015. Um. And like at the at the end of 2015, we became friends. And then 2016, in like April, no, it's July. In in July, on July 14th, I asked her out, and we went from there. And I, it was both very scary for us, and we didn't know what we were gonna do. Ah, like, and then we I met each other on her birthday of that year. And then she came here for three months. And after that, I was like, okay, she's realizing now. Like, it's it's normal. It's okay. So like, she thought instantly when i said streaming website i met her on like, uh, one of those shady shady streaming websites <laughs> and then she was like oh what do you do and i was like oh i i so i i do that streaming thing for a living now <laughs> shit <laughs> i was like oh god she, she uh, her attitude completely changed after that i was like oh thank fuck. just just to think i'm a fucking creep on a dingy oh, website and be the most in-depth analysis of my relationship with Kristen turned out to be six questions and I was done and I, I left she was like okay good luck on your um good luck on your thing and we'll be we'll be back we'll, we'll, not we'll be back we'll be we'll be in touch good luck it's like, Fuck, okay so hopefully either by the end of this week or the beginning of next week because working days remember I'm gonna find out if we've been successful and if I can actually go over there and get married to her with with with, with the visa so fingers crossed for mom and dad guys fingers crossed uh yeah just recently she got me uh this which i'm definitely gonna wear at twitchcon in in europe i'll put it on so you guys can get the full effects now if you haven't guessed it's literally a hoodie of my character's kimono from bleach that shit like holy f and it feels amazing as well dude all right i'll catch you guys later Bye. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? All right, I need to check and see if any of these endermen teleport. We need to see if they teleport down to that spot I just cleared. They're going to try. I don't know if they can reach it though. All right, it's full. Let's have a look. Let's see if any reached down here. If they didn't, then we're good. Ah! Problem. So this is too wide. This is too wide. I'm gonna have to fill this part in, I think. 
We'll fix it. <clears throat> the Ender King needs to be in a spot where the Enderman can't reach him. And that sounds really dumb. We need to be like... Um, so there's, t there's two ways I can fix this. We can turn this around and head back, right? I can have this point towards a different section that's further away from the Enderman farm. Like the uh, the person said just before, the first the, the Enderman wasn't wasn't one shot. So there's a good chance that we are still safe. It looks like it actually. It looks like we're alright. Okay, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, guys. If we start getting Enderman spawning down here um, from that farm, then we'll just deal with it. All right, should we build this egg? What about here, maybe, yeah? I feel like that's about how tall I want it. I'm gonna try and match the, the, the normal dragon egg shape as much as I can. So I feel like this is the point where we want to turn it around and be a little bit chunky in the middle and then go down to a skinnier part at the bottom. What about this? I feel like that's good, but um, maybe this could do with like a little bit of... Does that look good? I, I think that's about, about right. I think that's as close as we're gonna get. It's gonna be it's gonna be made out of obsidian, by the way. So don't we can't do slabs. I'm building it out of this so I can just kind of like mess with the shape. I got an idea. Where's my dragon I got? Is it at home? How about we make it exactly as it is? I can do that. Getting a good look at it. It'll look more square, but that's how it that's how it is, dude. That's how the, the egg is. Look, it's literally a square. We might be able to add these as well. Oh, fuck. if we do it exact, if we do it for pixel, if we do it pixel for pixel, he's going to be big chunk. He might be too big. <laughs> he might be too big, dude. Ooh. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll build him as a big chunky boy. I'm taking screenshots now. He's going to be fucking huge, dude. It's going to be ridiculous. I don't know if we can do it. Unless I, if I, if I don't make it exact, right? If I make it, um... Not too exact scale. If I go pixel by pixel, he's going to be massive. Took some screenshots. We're going back. Five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. No, that's wrong. It looks like it's going to be on a similar scale. This is the bottom of it, right? Why not make it obsidian? <laughs> yeah, let's do a test build out of obsidian, guys. So it takes us like an hour to mine it away when we want rid of it. Oh, f off this is so scup right okay it's because it's like if i want to make it this size i'm gonna have to skimp out on a couple of the layers all right so here we go here's what here's here's what's gonna look like <laughs> uh -huh. this is if we go normal chunk square mode which is pretty much exactly how the egg is that's how custom one this is regular chunk that needs to be too high and this one can be one high. Custom, please. This one makes me want the gag. Yeah, it's pretty sure. That's that's the accurate one, right? We would adjust that with different colors. We'd make like the per we'd make it all black and then add purple and stuff to kind of give it the little accents it needs. Honestly, that's the boy. That's the boy right there. Uh, right, obsidian. We have some here. Yeah. Let's do the thing, gamers. Change this boy to an egg okay oh. yeah i think i think this is the one dude <laughs> purple spots yeah when we have the materials maybe i'll add that right now mm. i'm not using that because that's not dark enough it needs to be like the uh the concrete if we use anything building underwater is is strange guys it's real strange it goes against like everything you know about the game like, oh, this block's going to fall on my head. No, it's not. It's going to float up to the surface. All right, there's the egg. Let's get a good look at this. That's good. I like that. We can add some accents to it with the purple uh, later on. I don't know if we have the materials to get the exact purple I want. It'll be a concrete. It's like a little bit darker and a stronger color, I think. Chat, do we have purple back at home? Like a purple dye? Don't tell me I could do... No, that would have been stupid. Purple wool. Mm. Mm. Where the fuck is my glass, dude? I had some glass. I was going to... All right, whatever. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. So, let's see. Away we go. All right. This is where we're going to put the coral reef. 
I'm tempted to pull up a screenshot of a coral reef and just see what the fuck it looks like again. Because yikes, dude. They're a bit random. They're a bit colorful and random. Just everything goes in them, dude. They're all, all the things. It's really weird. Here, let's just grab a ton of coral from one of these. Ah, here they are. Right. Blue. Let's grab three sacks of that. And three of that. Mm. Yeah. That's the only colors we have. Oh, yellow, yellow, yellow. F me, dude. Almost. I was like, uh oh, that's a bad. That's bad luck. Okay. We'll worry about the fans later. This is what we're going to rock with for now. Okay. And then we'll adjust it as we go. Uh, it feels weird having a shovel as my second slot. <laughs> Can we have fish named Nemo? Ooh. But they kind of wander away, though. They leave. They straight up and leave. Finding Nemo. He fucks off, though. No, he, right. Here's the thing. He, we know where he goes. It's not going to be a case of, oh, where is he? Ha. Huh? He, he fucking goes to that corner every time. Every fish we bring here, even dolphins, go to that side of the map. Every time. It doesn't despawn. He just goes. <laughs> so it's not finding him at all. He's just always going to be there. It's going to be like, all right, Nemo's fucked off from this spot again. I guess he's over there. Having him in this spot would be great. And if he stayed here, yeah. Awesome. But he won't. He won't. He's going to go to his fr fishy friends over there. I don't know why. I would love to know why the f that happens. But that's just where they want to go. I don't even think... Um, I don't even think the devs would know. Because... Like, when the f*** is the end realm got war in it? On this level. Like... <laughs> I'm sure Lime could probably agree. They didn't test how animals in the water, how fish act in the water in the end realm. On this scale, but we know Whoa, they just go over there. They go that way. Alright, so that area. And then this area can be raised a little bit too. I want this to be raised like two blocks or three blocks, maybe. This little section here. So weird hearing burning wood underwater. <laughs> what the f It's a campfire for those of you that aren't sure what it is. It's just this and that are just full of campfires to give the smoke effect like those things as well pretty pog pretty cool very useful thank you mo yang big pogs Whoa. <laughs> okay i need you guys to tell me straight away if one of these sections look a wonk so we can save ourselves some time right i'm gonna start placing coral in a second in fact I'll start placing it right now okay so i'll leave that we'll come back to it so, from coral reefs that I've seen in the past, they are pretty much just a mishmash of colors. There's like stuff that looks like this. And then you just get a bunch of coral fans and just go all over the fucking place. It's just literally random EF. And sometimes you can maybe add some layer to it by breaking the corners, right? Like that. So it's not as jagged or not as uh, rigid i should say sorry let's do another one and sometimes they kind of box themselves in right so there'll be like sections that literally look like a cube at the bottom and then work their way up like that like a slightly taller one here so that's my attempt at making the ones that look like the coral roofs that we see in the overworld that's my attempt at making a random one just want something a bit taller at the back you know and maybe we can add something here. I want it purple. Whoops, it is. One, two, three. Let's try a little bit more of a formulaic pattern here. Break that. Do that. Put yellow there. Blue there. And bring this across. It's like a jungle gym. <laughs> it's like a kid's jungle gym in the way. All right. We just need to add fans and then bone meal to this shit. All right. Less color. Guys, have you seen what coral reefs look like in the overworld? Do, 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 do. We'll do another one here. We'll try and concentrate more on the blues and the pinks in this bit. Then put the yellows near the top. So it's not as random, but that's pretty much how they how they be. That's how they be, guys. Trick is to just keep it as like random as possible. But still having some kind of form to it. It's fun.
Weird. <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to look good or not, but we'll say soon. We'll say pretty soon. What if I use not enough of the, the this one here, actually? Yeah. Definitely not use this enough. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot easier when I do it the normal way. If I try to go my, go my own path, it just looks fucking weird. Right? Maybe, that, maybe that's good. Red. Red dead. Hopefully not red dead, Carl. I'm going to replace some blocks on this side. A little bit better. Let's grab these coral that we've just kind of let float to the surface. Got to catch them all. See, that's already looking a little bit better. We haven't even done the, the uh, bone meal yet. Okay, now I need the other color of the fans. Kind of like... Oh, let's break that. Kind of offset this a little bit. Blue. I've not I noticed that they always have uh different colored fans up against like um like that for example like red and yellow there's always like there's never the same color it's not it's not like uh these right we used predominantly just blue coral pieces blocks and fans on the uh the conduit sections which is not at all how they act in in not in real life but in the game they're all over the place dude this is how they're meant to look. They're meant to be random and weird. Let's see. Uh, let's double check the pickle stock. <laughs> see how much we've got. If we don't have a lot. I'm going to have to go back home and we'll just spam bone meal. Right? Oh, we have six. That can't be right. Oh, it is. Oh, it's right. It's right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, all right. On. Do that. Do that. Wait. How did I do this last time? I have to place it on coral, right? Oh, you're right. I'm so dumb. I had to, I had a thing set up in season two. That had a machine full of bone meal that would just keep spitting it out and I would just keep breaking the the pickle. <laughs> oh, I got an idea, I got an idea. Um I will make it out of this. Screw it. I'll make it out of this. Hold on. We're gonna collect it all in the top. And then what I'll do, I I'll just I'll just come to the top when I've done it a bunch and break this and just pick it all up in one go. In fact, I'll try and make it go into that spot more specifically by doing that. Hopefully it'll stay there. Oh, is it even going to the top? I guess not, because it's like it doesn't count as a source block. Oh, it's it's classing it as flowing water now. Ah, this still works. It's stopping it from going up top. Oh no. Yeah, it's it still works. It still works. We're good. We're good. Get my head in there. Hello. Hello. Can I get my head in there to see what's going on? Ooh. <laughs> if I do that, then we just lock it in, yeah. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. Oh. Look how many we're getting. Ah! Look how many we're <laughs> Stonks. It's kind of difficult to not double click, right click when you're doing the bull meal part. I'm really concentrating here. Probably a little bit too much pink, but nah, that's fine. Once we add the, the bull meal and the, uh, the fans to it, it'll look fine. It'll look totally fine. We'll go for a chunky boy here. Right, big chunk. Here he comes. Can't stop him. He's so chunk. He's got different colors and different corners. <laughs> and we'll spread that out a little bit like that, like that. Then right there. Oh, that is pretty, man. Okay, that's the the part of the. Part of the Atlantis bowl that has the most life for sure. Because of the vents, right? We will have some trees going along here, I think. Ooh, maybe we could add trees to that side too. It would make sense. Got this we got this big chunky boy. We got that thick boy waiting, right? I love how those guys bounce around. I was worried they were just gonna stand still and do shit all. They just don't do anything. All right, we'll get a good look at this in a second, guys. I love this game so very much, guys. Can you tell? <laughs> this 
There's a big dumb grin on my face, dude. Almost complete. I want to mess around with this front part just a little bit. Just a tipsy bit. Three, more sea two. pickles is required. I do need more sea pickles. You're right. This bit is too dark. It needs to be lit up. Everything else is just like booming. That's a bit too dark. Uh, yeah. Sea pickles need, need to happen. Let's get a little bit more. I love the dragon's nose, dude. They look extra cool with shaders because the light up. So it looks like they're still like... They still have fire in them. Makes no sense, but it's a dragon, right? Dragons are meant to make sense. Oh, very nice. Okay. All right. Sea pickles. Do I have to go f me? Think with a 50. Egg. <laughs> Actually spooked. Yep. Confirmed. Ooh. Yeah. Huge pop. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at this pretty boy. Look at him just light himself up. Look at him go. He's the brightest coral in all the land. F that looks sick from here. Whoa. <laughs> okay, all right. It's so pretty. One thing I want to try out is um, I want to do the beacons in these pillars and see what it looks like. Should we give that a go? I think we might have enough. I've been collecting beacons, right? I've been stashing them. Nine. That's two, four, six, eight, ten. If we don't count this one, we have enough. We could try these two. Um, what's the minimum? What's the minimum beacon setup? Let me check. It's that, right? That's all I want. Let's give it a look. How about we do it on the chunk, chunky ones here? We could do different colors. I don't think it's going to be that notable, though. That's the thing, right? It's going to be something subtle. It's going to be a beam, but we're not going to really be able to tell what color it is. Never mind. <laughs> it's really obvious what color it is. Never mind. <laughs> that, go, that, that goes through the bedrock? Oh, fuck. I didn't know it did that. I just realized now. I was like, wait, the bedrock's there. Mmm. Mmm. The height's staying the same, so I'll just do it as if we've just made it normally. And then I'll probably make him chunky. Underneath. Oh, greedy, we'll have to big, make a, a hole going it? all the way down, all right? Uh, you're right. I could just put it in the ground. F Man, I'm just going to have to dig a hole all the way down. Should we do that? Should we, should we stick with the, the thickness? Should we stick with the thickness of the, of the, uh, the towers? Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with the thickness and we'll go all the way down, all right? I don't know what level to go down to, though. Uh, what's hidden? What's hidden around about here? Level 40. I could just guess, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to guess. Fuck it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> level, all right, a little bit further down. A little bit further down. A little bit further down. Almost. Almost perfectly guessed it. Don't worry. Don't worry about chat. Don't worry. Give that five, dude. <laughs> Okay, iron. It's a good thing we have like a ton of iron, right? Ah! This is such a flex. Holy shit. I don't even know if I'm going to like it or not. We'll have to see from a distance. I did not know that the beacon thing went through bedrock though. That's, that's fucking crazy. I had no idea the beacon worked through bedrock. Does that mean it can go through the nether roof? It can. Ooh, I've never used a beacon in the never, I don't think. That's Pog. That's real cool. And it's only the skinny, skinny towers that we have to, like, fudge with and put it in the floor. We'll decide on colors in a second, guys. I'm thinking purple and black. Honestly. I'm not too fussed about making multi colors. If we're going with a color, we're going with, like, one or two. Black would look fucking metal. Yo, this looks fucking nuts. <laughs> what? They they are super bright. All right, let's let's do this one. Let's do let's do this one here. I still can't believe they go through bedrock. That's that's nuts. I did not I did not know that. Still learning things about Minecraft. I've never seen anyone use a beacon in the Nether. I've never really been paying attention enough. I guess. Oh, did I do it right? Yeah, we did it right. Oh yeah. All right, now we got one beacon left, I guess. <laughs>
Okay, I'm going to get some black glass and we're going to just see what this boy looks like. All invisible. Because this shit, you're not going to fucking see it. I'm calling it. We're in the end realm, dude. The realm of darkness. Uh, magenta? Yo, where's the glass at? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Got it. Got it. Got it. So the black just looks like it stops because it blends in with the sky in the background so well or the the lack of sky right look at this Pff, fuck. Oh. <laughs> jesus i kind of like just the white purple that's magenta right that's magenta we can get purple purple does look a little bit better Hold up, let me check um, right next to each other, right next to um, blue there and light blue so we can compare those side by side and then purple here so we can compare it with the magenta. Let's, let's get back. Have a look at it. Do I still have that platform? Did I get rid of it? I think I got rid of it. I don't see it. I like the light blue. Hmm. So, for those of you that don't know what the colors are, are what, we have black. Kind of hard to say, isn't it? You can just kind of make it out. Um, blue. At the back, we have white. Light blue. Blue again. Light blue. Purple. Magenta. I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm not using gray. Gray is lame. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Start from scratch. Bear with me, guys. What are we thinking? <laughs> Maybe the fall ones, dude. Good. We can always change it. I wonder what it looks like with these shaders on. Um. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, that's the thing. I, I'm not sure if we're gonna hit this in like a week. Cause it's a, it's a, it's a lot, right? It's a lot. So for now, drop. We're rock, we're rocking with this. Okay. We're rocking with this. Um, we'll see how we feel. After being exposed to it for a long amount of time. But right now, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. But we gotta like, we've gotta take everything into consideration, right? We can't have something that's too overpowering on the rest of the build. Otherwise, it's gonna distract from everything else. Depending on the shader, it's not as distracting, I guess. It's just when you get into the sky, right? But think about this plus planets. Think about a giant sphere in the middle of that and then spheres around it. I think that will bring it together a bit more, you know? Yeah, beacon lights aren't affected by... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I moved my mouse. Well, that makes it... That makes acid shaders even more, like, trippy. Because now the perception of where things are is even more scuffed because you have something that stays the same. Ah, look, the beacons aren't, look at the bottom of the screen. The beacons aren't connected to anything, dude. The lights aren't connected. <laughs> you can see where they turn white. I thought about making uh, a path in glass, in black glass that leads to the middle. Making like lily pads across here, right? So we can, just go, we can spawn here and just go bloop, straight across. All right. Straight across and just keep walking. It'll be a nice change, right? Because when you swim without shaders, we just see silhouettes until we get close. However, when you're in a pocket of air, you can appreciate this place without shaders, right? And also, let me just say, let me just add shaders inside of a pocket like this with the glass on. Actually, it looks pretty fucking pog because you get the, the light reflecting off the corners. And the edges. It looks even cooler when we get um over here. Whoops, a dizzy. I go inside of this thing. Watch.
You see what I mean though? This is gonna be loud. Left ear test. Right ear test. Oh. Center. So glass is pretty interesting underwater. Especially with shears. Things get pretty pretty trippy and very very pretty at the same time. Okay. Not sure if we have enough of the magma blocks. I do remember farming it a little bit. I remember grabbing a bunch of it, right? But fuck knows where it is. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's right here. That's all I have left, apparently. I used a bunch of it on the trident to make it look like the trident hitting the floor broke apart and melted the ground. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> we need more though. We need more than 30. All right, here we go. Lag city. Oh, the frames! <laughs> Woo. Ten frames a second, boys! Oh, it's got that like five! Whoa, slideshow! <laughs> it's still lagging, even though I'm down here. Look. Oh my god, the lag. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> That's a lag. Help, dude. I don't think one shot is going to be enough. I don't think one shot is going to be enough, guys. Um, Let's wait for all to settle at the top. Let's just... Uh, so, yeah, we're probably running at like... That feels like 20. That definitely feels like 20. It's funny because it's capturing everything else normally. Look, I, if I move my hand around, everything's like 30. This is like 20. The gameplay is 20. <laughs> Ooh, that's taking a while. Let's see how quick it takes for us to fill up. Surprisingly longer than I thought. Holy shit. Ah, will be full like any second probably though. Oh yeah, we're, we've got one slot left. <laughs> oh, and we're full. Oh, all right. Time to just demolish this place with this crap. Ow. All right. Oops, it is easy. I might just use extra. Oh yeah, there's no question that this is all sauce blocks now. Ooh. Oh boy. It's very loud. It's very loud. Doing it the lazy way, guys. Don't care. There we go. Bubbles. Dog camo, we right. How am I going to get out? You'll see. Yeah, I bet the bit rate's taking an absolute shit right now, right? How... how 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 blended in is my face? How was well, this? Is this helping? Is this helping? Is my face just a mesh of peach now? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 Ooh, that looks pretty. That's pretty cool. Go back here and just have a look at it. Yeah. Bill has played Minecraft so much that it has turning into pixels. Minecraft. <laughs> I am the pixels. Bow before the pixel man. Wee. I can't wait to watch that back on the highlights. Holy shit. It's going to be a mess, dude. Ah, it's going to be a mess. Oh, productive stream. I think we got the color reef done. Made everything look a little bit prettier. Finished the ravine. All I need to do now is just add a little bit more sand to different areas, which shouldn't take too long, and then do the Ender King's layer. All right. Remember, spam happy birthday. I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye.